Hi, in this video we're going to look at actually binding our campaign to a player. Um, so from the home screen you can click on player within the main window or at the top just like in all the other um, options. Um, so once you've clicked on player you should see the players that you've added um, within the software, um, whether they're online or not. Um, this is where you can rename your player so if we select the player and click on edit we can give that player a name um, and then this is where we give it a location for the weather um, resource to work so for that to work it works off the location that the screen is actually being placed in so if you've got it over in um, Adelaide and Australia then you select that and then when you go into the weather side of the resources it knows what weather it needs to look at um, and I'm not going to rename this so I'm just going to cancel that um, you can upload um, your campaign to one or more uh, players um, and you can do it individually or if you took them both and add campaign then it will actually go to both players now I don't want that in, in this instance so I'm going to remove the first one and I'm just going to send it to the showroom non-touch screen um, so now if I click on campaign um, you can see here that it gives you the options for loop demand and insert campaigns you can send one of each to a player or multiple players um, we're going to be dealing with a loop campaign we've just created so we're looking at uh, selecting our campaign that we've created and then binding it to the screen um, give it the OK and that is now bind, bound to that screen um, and it gives you the date and time that that is done now the binding is basically pointing your program at a specific screen or multiple screens um, and once it's bound you can make changes and audit those changes and they would automatically update that player um, we can unbind at this point and then once we make changes to our uh, campaign they won't automatically update to the player until we rebind it so um, we'll go over that in a second um, so once I've bound that it actually just starts sending to the screen um, and once all of the content is uploaded to the screen then it will start playing your campaign um, now if we then uh, go back and we go back to composer and we look at one of our um, programs and we change the layout or the content so we're just going to go in and change the layout of one of them and all I'm going to do is just move that text box and then click save um, and then close and you'll see once that's done is that these audit and the um, campaign name go back to red so once we audit that and we click OK it then automatically checks that and then updates the player with those changes you don't have to actually go and rebind that campaign to the player those changes happen automatically but if we went in and we um, went back into campaign and we unbound that campaign then any changes that we make regardless of whether we audit it or not will not upload to that player until we rebind that campaign or we bind a new campaign um, and once you bind a new campaign again it has to upload all of the content for that campaign to the player before it then switches from its current campaign to the new campaign um, and that's about it really um, for campaigns um, join us in a new video when we go over how to actually add content um, the different types of content to your campaign